Sometimes in our Christian lives, I think, uh, I know uh, you hear this a lot, like, is it, is it worth it? Is it worth it, right? We, you know, in the Bible, it talks about how we should look, how we should act, what we should do, what we shouldn't do, alcohol, drugs, uh, how we should cut our hair, how we should dress, how we should behave, what the things that we should talk, how we shouldn't talk vulgarly, you know, uh, being separate from the world, not taking part in certain things that other people take part in. And sometimes there are these restrictions in our life, and it can be easy to get this idea in our heads, like, hey, is it, is it worth it? If I do all these things and follow all these rules all the rest of my life, is it, is it worth it? You know, God's economy, and think about it as a business decision, right? We have a business, and if, if we want to build a new barn or set up something new for the cows, it'll cost money to do that. And hopefully the increased production or a decrease in maintenance costs or whatever will offset the cost of building a business or building a, a new barn. It's your return on investment. We're looking for that return on investment in business decisions. Maybe if you're looking at purchasing a new vehicle or upgrading to a different house or something like that, make an addition on your house. But God's economy doesn't work the same way. If we all sang the songs and if we all go soul winning and nobody gets saved, maybe a year from now, two years from now, one person gets saved. And, and these two years, nobody gets saved except for one. It's absolutely worth it to that one person. That one person had made a huge difference in their eternal destiny, right? What is one life worth? What is one soul worth? You know, it's easy when it's hot outside or it's easy when it's raining. It's easy when it's, uh, you know, gloomy weather or maybe we've had a rough week or maybe we've had a long week. It's, e it's easy to get this idea of, oh, I don't know, is it, is it worth it to go out soul winning? Is it worth it to talk to people about the Bible? Mark chapter 8 and verse 36, it said, 36, it says, For what shall it profit a man? if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? There it's equating the whole world with the value of this man's soul and it's, and it's not enough. A soul is priceless. Every single soul out there is priceless. And that's what it's worth. Is, is it worth it to us to be, you know, maybe I, maybe I missed something because a family member plans it on a church day and well, I'm sorry, we're gonna go to church. It's absolutely worth it. Is it worth it to miss these little moments? Is it worth it to miss out on going to the beach during bikini season? Is it worth it to miss out on alcohol and drinking and all these, all these worldly uh, things that the rest of the world says is okay? It's absolutely worth it if we see an extra soul saved. It's absolutely worth it if we're making a difference in our community, in our family, in our future kids' generation. It's absolutely worth it.